you actually cannot be bigoted against a person because you don't like their political positions. That's, it actually doesn't work that way. You can't do it. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> you could take Vosh, you could wipe his um, like recent, you could like wipe his personal memory. So you mm -hmm. just have the hardware and the framework of his thought process. You plop him down in like 1930s America, mm. he's going to be like fucking super racist against black people. Yeah, totally. That's the problem. His framework is racist. His yes. framework is sexist. His framework is homophobic. Yes, totally. If you have to, like, if you're so desperate that you're looking for ways to justify your bigotry, mm -hmm. like, I think the problem is you. In this video, uh, Vosh... Well, you will see. You will see. It seems like Vosh is saying that it's okay for him to use slurs. So I don't know. We'll see how we feel about this. Uh, he's looking at a tweet. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, this is a guy named Alex Walker, who I assume is a gay conservative. Mm -hmm. um, and someone who is a gay leftist, or not, I mean, it's not necessarily gay, but is a leftist, says, No one canceled you. Everyone just called you a smarmy, annoying, and they have a cigarette emoji. So obviously they're calling him a smarmy, annoying F slur. Are we allowed to say the F slur on YouTube, Adam? I don't even know. We can't say the F slur. Are we allowed to say F slur? Are we oh, allowed wait. to say are uh, we allowed to say that word Vosh. that ends with agate and starts with F? The Vosh says it a couple times in here. He does. He does. So he does. Vosh, I mean, I if you kissed a guy at a party, can you say you're gay? I mean, I think you have to <laughs> suck a dick, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm going to say you can't really call yourself a homosexual and use the F slur if, unless you've sucked a dick and taken it up the butt, okay? There you go. I'm just, I go. mean... <laughs> I think these well, details matter, don't they? To be a lot fair, of these people, they, they're like, listen, you know, mm -hmm. I kissed a guy at a party on a bet, and now I want to, you know, march around and use the F slur on YouTube. I so mean, that's not really I, I agree with the sentiment, but let me add something. Let me let me add a little detail. From someone who used to listen to a lot of Howard Stern. Mm -hmm. Okay. And George Takei. Back before he became woke, used to be on George on Howard Stern's broadcast. It's kind of what revitalized his career. And in that, he talked. He said, "He said, Howard, I don't like anal penetration. I only like to have my dick sucked and to suck dick." So really, holy yes. shit! I did not so, know this. Yes, and apparently he would go into very details about how he would have sex with his partner, and apparently neither of them liked anal sex. So. There Wait a second. Wait a second. Neither of them. I'm pretty will... sure he's really gay, though. So. Ah. Huh. Okay. That's that's pretty. That's pretty interesting. I just blew Adam's mind. Well, it just it. So he obviously. I mean, that's. I've heard a lot of gay guys say that they're against, like their female anatomy grosses them out. Like they don't want to mm -hmm. penetrate a vagina to sure, save their lives. Sure. Yeah. But it, maybe it's just they don't like the penetration period. Like they're just off of that whole maybe, thing. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, it even goes beyond, you know, home, like like sexual orientation because there are guys who are straight that like things in their butt. I mean, and I don't want anything in my butt. So. Yeah, I agree. I'm I'm with you on this. I, our moral intuitions <laughs> align perfectly. Right, <laughs> like right. Sticking foreign objects in the butt. So there you go. What a. Uh, I, so gosh, I'll say, I'll I'm, say. So I'll I say guess... the minimum requirement is sucking a dick or anal okay. sex. Okay, we'll say it's okay. an and or. Either or. <laughs> Either or. Either, Either or. Either or. But I don't, there you go. I mean, Vosh would just lie to us. He would just say. The reason it's, the reason it's, um, a lot of guys are just, they're physically repulsed by the idea of, of doing anything like that themselves. Of course, of course. Yeah. So it, it is, I mean, there you go it's not gay unless you make eye contact there you go oh well that's part of, that's part of it i just okay, i don't anyway. i don't know i just i'm skeptical that there are mm -hmm. not people saying that they're gay who aren't actually gay just so that they can make the argument that Bosch is making in this maybe, maybe i think we'll you see. might agree
So the reason that this topic comes up is because if you see at the top of the screen, Hassan Piker liked the tweet calling this guy a smarmy, annoying F slur. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? So there you go. Ouch. There you go. That's what they say. Now, I have two things to say on this. First of all, being fully serious, you actually cannot be bigoted against a person because you don't like their political positions. That's, it actually doesn't work that way. Okay, so at first you're like, oh, a reasonable position. I agree with that completely, right? Mm -hmm. No problem there. You shouldn't use slurs against someone because you disagree with their politics, right? I mean, Vosh has done that, but let's just set that aside. But he's now he's saying that you shouldn't do that. So he's you think he's learned from his J.K. Rowling debacle? Well, you're about to see. No, he didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, so it's this a was, fake out here. This was the fake out. Yes, this is the fake out. Okay. So let's go back a second. Serious. You actually cannot be bigoted against a person because you don't like their political positions. That's it. Actually, doesn't work that way. You can't do it. I can do it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so off to a great start here. There's a rule, there's a rule, guys, okay? But that rule is for you. <laughs> there are other people that rule does not apply to. But does I he makes this is why I spent so much time talking about what what classifies someone as a gay person because isn't he gonna doesn't he make the argument that the reason he, he can says do he's it is gay, because yes yes right which is weird because i i thought he claimed he was bi now he's claiming he's gay so he can call people the f slur like mm -hmm. well what's that's happening that's here? another thing that's another thing well i don't know but i feel like the the gay culture has mm -hmm. this stuff i mean they're the ones that should be commenting on this yeah <laughs> we're not really in a position to comment on this no well we can we can comment on on the logic of his position mm -hmm. so well i don't know if we can comment on whether or not i think there's a huge contention over whether or not i don't think the gay people and the bi people get along right i think they're not like, necessarily well, they can and they're they mortal enemies <laughs> right um this was remember this was the lindsay ellis gay gatekeeping with whatever her name was mm -hmm. she said she was bi or whatever right and everyone gave yeah. her a hard time about it right 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 they're like listen you kissed a girl in college it doesn't mean that so, you're lgbt yeah. though i will say listen i don't know what goes on in vosh's private life mm -hmm. okay i don't know what goes on in destiny's private life mm -hmm. okay i'm just i'm a little sussy i'm a little skeptical of these guys who mm -hmm. are big advocates for open polyamorous relationships who finger quote claim they are bisexual and yet you just only see them with women i don't know I'm yeah. just little, you only see them a with a lot of women I just, like there's uh, no guy that comes forward and says oh yeah you know uh destiny sucked my dick right like <laughs> nobody comes forward you would think you would think uh -huh. if destiny yeah. had done that i mean someone would speak up to try to get some internet cloud off of that mm -hmm. right 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 i mean why wouldn't they so you listen you've got girls that he's you know he, his side girls are coming forward to get some internet clout mm -hmm, why mm -hmm. wouldn't the side guys come forward right right so i don't know just a little i mean i could be wrong i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying i'm a little skeptical until i see evidence okay that's well, all and at the same that's time we don't really want to see the evidence we want one of you to watch the evidence. <laughs> I don't want to okay, look, I don't want to see back to us. Listen, I don't want to see the direct evidence. I want to see the circumstantial evidence. <laughs> okay. Know. I'm fine hearing someone else talk about it. Okay. Yes, yes. So, Let's yeah. make that perfectly clear here. Right, right, right. I don't want to <laughs> see the evidence. Okay. He's actually admitted to giving BJs who? Destiny or Vosh? So people have I've not witnessed the video where he talks where Destiny talks about his blowjob technique. Um, <laughs> I am, 
I am curious to see that video, and I don't. I feel. I feel like that video would be clipped out. Yeah, I, I feel like I Sargon would have responded to that know, video by now. I I know that like most bi people will lean in directions, which is fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to say you're not bi for leaning in a direction, but I think if you're going to make an argument that it's okay for you to use, you know, slurs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a little skeptical okay if you're like oh i'm i'm bisexual but i've only been in like leaning or only been in relationships with women so I don't right know, maybe you mean if yeah. your bisexuality is like you you thought uh chris hemsworth was handsome and thor and that's like the extent right you're like, of that, your... is that the extent of your bisexuality <laughs> yeah, exactly yeah <laughs> other than that you've only been romantic with women because I know, and this is actually, it's funny. I didn't think about this until just now. I, I've heard clips of Vosh make the argument that everyone is gay or mm -hmm. everyone is bisexual. Mm -hmm. And he makes this weird argument. He's like, oh, yeah, when you watch porn, you know, you want to see a big dick dick, you know, fucking a pussy. You don't want to see some, like, lip thick, tiny dick fucking a pussy. Mm -hmm. and that means you're bisexual, okay? Mm -hmm. This was his argument, not mine. It's a stupid mm -hmm. fucking argument. But so under his logic, if everyone's bisexual, doesn't that mean everyone should get to use the F slur too? Oh, yeah. Why is he just limiting it then? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Not it's a good just, argument. His logic is contradictory already. All right. Anyway, let's continue. Let's hear, let's hear his logic here, mm -hmm. okay? Why he can use... The F slur. I felt the finger quotes when you said logic. Yes. <laughs> good, good. The logic. The logic. Because I'm a member of that group. And in my head, this guy is like flagging every single stereotype for somebody in my head that I'm thinking just like... Just, just. Okay, this is very important. Mm -hmm. This is very important. And we talked about this on previous streams. Why I have such a problem with with Marxism and leftism? They're they're against university, you know, universal um, principles, mm -hmm. and and part this is what you're seeing is him being against individualism because what he said is, not I get to say the F slur because I'm part of quote unquote that community, but also because I see a gay guy and he trips a lot of stereotypical flags, so I get to call him the F slur. Mm -hmm. Uh, That's yeah, the whole I wanted fucking to ask. reason you're not supposed to use slurs. You're dehumanizing someone. You're saying you are not a person. You are a fucking stereotype or you're generally a negative stereotype of a group that you belong to. So I'm calling you this slur. Right. That's the whole fucking problem with slurs. Right. Yeah. It's dehumanizing. Yes. And de-individualizing. De and yeah. he just and, and he's explaining that the reason he should get to use a slur is because he's de-individualizing someone and stereotyping them in his mind. I'm glad you made this clear because I didn't know if he was talking about Hassan or the guy in the tweet. He's talking he, about the guy in the tweet. Right. So the guy in the I didn't see the guy in the tweet and I don't think he's in the video. Is he super video, effeminate or what's the deal? I don't know. I didn't watch the tweet either. Like I I mean I have friends that are super effeminate. Right. Uh, eff effeminate? Effeminate. <laughs> effeminate. Yeah. And they're not gay. I mean I thought right? they were gay for a long time, but <laughs> They won mm -hmm. then they finally confided in me that they weren't actually gay. <laughs> and uh I mean it's I like, Adam, I have something to tell you. It's my deep dark secret. I know. I'm, I'm not straight. Gay. <laughs> yeah. Which is cool. I mean, you don't let them hang out with your girlfriend as much anymore, but <laughs> <laughs> shall we continue? <laughs> yes, yeah. So I just I I'm just this his logic here is really bad. Really bad. Yeah. Just, you know, just, I, I, if you listen, if you think like I've got like, uh, you know, funny misogyny up here, white gay men, holy shit, it's to the racetracks. It's, oh God, it, it's so much energy up here. So much of my uh, <clears throat> neural activity dedicated. Interesting that he, you know, throws a little race <laughs> in there as well. Okay. This is so <laughs> That's weird. That's a little odd, but go ahead. Well, yeah, because what this is so weird. Because well, no, he he can only say he hates white gay men because he's white. He can't he can't say he hates all gay men because he uh -huh. can't hate a black gay man. You know, I I've, I've met black gay men and white gay men. This may 
Mm -hmm. This may, you know, that blows my mind. They both exist. Be, you and might not, not like believe legends. this, but I live mm -hmm. in Los Angeles, and there are a lot of black gay men and white gay men in Los Angeles. Yes, I also ran a writer's lab where the, a lot of writers are gay. I don't know if you mm -hmm. know this as well, but mm -hmm. and I, you know, the black gay men and white they act a lot alike. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know, black. I think black gay men and and white gay men act more alike than just black guys and white guys. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. There's well, more, he's about to say they don't. There's more difference there. Yeah. Right. I know. To homophobia exclusively against white gay men. What about black gay men? Not a problem. <laughs> See, this is what is so weird to me because it's like after the whole thing with J.K. Rowling, okay, mm -hmm. and the whole thing with Cat Black, like to me this really illuminates Vosh's thinking and that he he just feels like he's such a fucking piece of shit like he is a racist sexist you know person who thinks in these horrible stereotypical ways and yet as long as he frames it in like kind of a leftist frame then he gets a pass <laughs> it's so bad I know. I know it's just so terrible this yeah. is so awful and this is what but this is why I hate CRT this is why I hate a lot of the neo-Marxian philosophy because it's it it allows you to do what he's doing. It completely allows you to do what he's doing. And it's so destructive to our society. Mm -hmm. No problem. I grew up near West Hollywood. This is a very specific thing. And also he knows he's probably talked to the same guys as me. <laughs> and by the way, if you actually want a sociological explanation, my best guess for it is that white gay men have a particularly callous and ignorant oh approach God, towards shit. appropriating AAVE and like black queer culture in general? What What is AAVE? I'm scared to ask. I, I don't know. I couldn't. I okay, couldn't good. Tell you. you don't know either. Good. We're both in the dark. Because what you have here are if you're a white gay man, especially in like a more affluent area, like in West Hollywood or wherever this guy's from, because just taking a guess, something tells me he didn't exactly grow up in like Skid Row. Just a feeling that I have. You know who else lives in West Hollywood? Hassan? Hassan Pike. <laughs> Vosh? <laughs> well, he said he was uh, from West Hollywood. Right. You've got people who are loaded with a lot of class privilege, racial privilege. They're men, which means they have a kind of, they have a chauvinism and a misogyny that they oh, get to get shit. away with. This is like so this insane. This is crazy. He, he's making all these racist, sexist, homophobic stereotypes saying, oh, all white gay men from West Hollywood have this certain behavior like embedded within them, essentially. Yeah. He's essentializing all these characteristics. Race but in like a bizarre intersexual way. So, yeah. I mean, doesn't he argue against race essentialism when he's arguing those terrible race realists? I thought he did. <laughs> I, feel like I thought he did. Yeah. He just slipped right in. God, I hate yeah. these. I hate the stereotypes. You guys it's don't get insane. don't get me started on stereotypes, Sitch. You know? <laughs> you well, know? Someone said he's literally describing himself. Yeah. <laughs> what <I> like this. <laughs> well, it to me it's like, you know, and I think someone else in the chat said this and I agree completely. Like you could take Vosh, you could wipe his um like recent you could like wipe his personal memory so you mm -hmm. just have the hardware and the framework of his thought process you plop him down in like 1930s america mm -hmm. he's gonna be like fucking super racist against black people yeah totally that's the problem his framework is racist his yes. framework is sexist his framework is homophobic yes totally. if you have to like if you're so desperate that you're looking for ways to justify your bigotry mm -hmm. <laughs> I think the problem is you. Maybe this is, I think a lot of this, this is like the Robin D'Angelo thing where you have all these fucking racist white people who are like, have all these racist thoughts and all these bigoted thoughts. Mm. And then they just, in order to feel better, they assume everyone else has the same bigoted I know. thoughts. So they have to come out and do this act of contrition, but then they still get to be bigoted against white people because God damn it, they got to be bigoted against somebody. Uh, you know, it's, that's their outlet. It's like their hobby. There's a, you you have to watch the first two episodes. The rest mm. of the season is not as good. I know. You have to watch at least the first two episodes of it. South Park. I will watch it. I'll watch it. Because there's literally a scene where Stan, Stan perfectly encapsulates this, 
where he assumes everyone is making some racist mistake that he's making. And it's literally just him. Mm-hmm. And he's just like, we all need to do this thing. And it's like, no, 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 it's just you. You're the racist. here. Is I th- How much of this is simping for Hassan too? Cause I feel like, is he making an argument that Hassan, it was okay for Hassan to click like on the tweet because the, the guy that he disliked was a misogynist. No, because Hassan makes a different argument. Hassan just says it was an accident. So. Right. Which is, or he didn't know, yeah. he didn't see the, the little cigarette emoji, which we can talk about right. once we get to that point. But. Okay. Be- <laughs> because once they learn they're gay and they're out of the closet, their misogyny becomes empowering all of a sudden. You ever hear gay men? <laughs> mm-hmm. so, so, if you're not following, his argument, which is insane, okay? His argument is, that men are naturally misogynistic. But mm-hmm. once you become gay, your misogyny gets becomes empowering. Therefore, it's okay for you to be openly misogynistic. Mm-hmm. First of all, what kind of men is what kind of gay men is he talking to? Mm-hmm. Like for a lot of the gay people that I've interacted with, I I would not use the term misogyny to describe any of these people at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, is this your experience with, with the gays? Well, <laughs> like rampant misogyny. That's not my experience at all. It's like yeah, me, me neither. Yeah, usually. And, you know, in high school, there were gay people, but they always were. They always had like a ton of girlfriends. They were like right, in right. the girl group, basically. Yes. Yes. They were exactly. one of the girls. Let's just say that makes me think you know kind of the opposite of misogyny right right yeah that's why i'm so confused by this what was he fucking talking about yeah yeah that kind of shit doesn't fly in the girl in the girl crew no no not at all yeah and talk about pussies like disgusting or like how women are gross or whatever but it's like oh it's because they're gay it's like well no it's still misogyny when you do that you're just doing it gayly you're just doing this mis- oh, oh my god mm-hmm. are his arguments getting worse mm-hmm. like this is the dumbest fucking argument this is one of his dumbest arguments so like a gay guy saying that they think vaginas are first of all mm-hmm. i've heard lots of gay guys talk about how awesome boobs are okay mm-hmm. even if they're not sexually attracted to them so i don't think i don't think all gay guys are like anti all female anatomy. Right. But if there's some gay well, guys out there that think it makes vaginas sense. Are I mean all yeah, right. all human beings are attracted to boob f- for sustenance in sure, the sure, early sure. years. So Right, right, right. That makes sense. But so like the thing with the vaginas is like saying, Oh, vaginas mm-hmm. are gross. Okay. It's like well, like if I think the concept of sucking a dick is gross, or I think mm-hmm. the concept of like fucking or getting fucked in the ass is gross, that doesn't make me a homophobe. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. think it's I think it's gross for me. So yeah. like if a if a gay guy thinks the idea of like vaginal sex is gross, it doesn't make him a misogynist. Fox. It doesn't make yeah. any fucking sense. Okay. Yeah. The misogyny would be thinking that women are inferior because they have vaginas. That's what the misogyny would be, Vash. Mm-hmm. You should know this as a as a woke feminist. Yeah. Yeah. As a debate bro. This as is a debate, debate bro, bro 101. Yeah. This is such a terrible argument. Misogyny homosexually. So I feel like a lot of white gay men basically are in this weird position where they are every bit as internally toxic as like the most hegemonically masculine people out there. And uh, at the same time, they are enough a member of like a minority group by being a gay guy that they don't get called out in it in the same way. <laughs> you just have this, like... You know what I'm talking about. I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. <laughs> he, he thinks that, like, there's all these gay men running around that are just as toxically misogynist as, like, the... Um, the uh, What are they called? Um, who are the guys that are like, oh, you should go to the club. I'll, I'll teach you how to go to the club and fuck, you know, like, ten women a week or whatever. Mm, yeah. The pickup, well, pickup artist. artist, yeah, yeah, right. He's acting like there's like, oh, all these gay men are just as misogynist as pickup artists. Like, who, who what kind of gay people does fucking has, does Vosh interact with? Like, this is so outside my experience. 
of, of human interaction with people, mm -hmm. let alone gay people. <laughs> Maybe there's a lot of projection going on here. I think that's what's happening. There's a reason why so much like language goes from like queer black community to black women to white men who are gay to white women to everyone. Look, he's he just did the progressive stack. He fucking yes. totally laid it out. Yes. He and he did it perfectly. He got the order right and everything. He even did it uh he even did it reverse, you notice, <laughs> because he wanted to say these are the most oppressed people down here. You're right. You're right. You're right. Though it's interesting needs, because someone needs to clip this out. This is historical. Uh, he, he's talking about it in terms of like um, cultural language that is you that is like considered to be cool. So he's like, oh, you know, black queer people create all the cool language. And then it, you know, kind of goes down this trajectory of influence. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's like, well, I don't think there's anything inherent about like, like black queer people that makes them create, you know, cool lingo or cool mm -hmm. culture. It's that under this sort of leftist oppression hierarchy view, that's the culture that people, since they look at like whoever's the most oppressed is like the best, then obviously that means that that's the culture you're going to ape. That's yeah. the culture you're going to start mimicking. Yeah. The so more, it doesn't have anything to do with like. Right. There's no essential quality to like being black and queer that makes you like cool or something mm -hmm. or create like some cooler culture. Because a lot of people who are not involved with that, like they'll look at they'll look at like Ru RuPaul's Jag Race. <laughs> and a lot of the culture comes down that and they're like, uh, this doesn't I don't think any of this is fucking cool. Mm -hmm. so, you know, it's 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 just a very weird way of framing this, though. I'm wondering if he's framing it this way. Maybe he's only framing it like white gay men are all misogynist just to give him an excuse to be able to use the f slur why Maybe that's what's happening did, did he accidentally say the f slur i mean why does why is he gunning for an f slur pass i don't know do you really need to say f slur that bad maybe maybe his chat's like winding him up maybe he's yes. got a lot of gay fans in the chat that are giving him a hard time <laughs> You know, like that's that's legitimately how it goes. It's happened with like so many different terms and words and phrases. It's queer black community, black women, white gay men, white women, all other groups. Like the high in terms of like the appropriate. He almost said hierarchy and stopped himself. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit! Did you catch that? He literally almost said the word hierarchy and stopped himself. He's like, oh, shit, shit. That, that's like one of us, out, you know, accidentally saying, unpack this or, mm. Mm. or you know, problematic. <laughs> or like, oh, shit, don't say that. Don't use their ling lingo. Don't use their language. Breed of hierarchy or whatever. <laughs> oh, he did say it. Know. He did say it. He did say it. White gay men, white women. All other groups, like the high in terms of like the appropriative hierarchy or whatever. <laughs> Did you see him? The fluttering eyes. Oh, I he's know. totally disgusted I by know. the word. Oh, oh, oh. I just said hierarchy. <laughs> Please give me a Tums. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something about this. It's just, it's something about this. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, he's totally that demoralized. That's the perfect pause. He's totally demoralized. That's like that's like uh are they buying it face? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he realized too he's talking about the oppression Olympics here. He put him in a yes. perfect hierarchy. He's like, "Oh my god, Sitch and Adam are going to come on and totally clip this." There out. you go. Well, also it's it's funny too because if you're very anti-hierarchy, he just put like I know by putting the most marginalized you know group at the top of the hierarchy, you're saying that they're bad. Oh so. snap! So yeah, it's a oh. big problem. Big problem. It's so that's so weird. You got to do a double reverse hierarchy. <laughs> yes. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> This clip is so funny. 
<laughs> so anyway, I was saying why I can use the F slur. Okay. Hassan liked the tweet. <laughs> and now we return to the original context of the video we were looking at. Is that guy's name Ben? <laughs> no. Yes. <laughs> is that really? What do you mean? The guy who oh. is it, was the guy in the tweet, the gay guy, Ben? Hassan liked. No, it's Alex. Okay. Oh, no, no. The guy who called him the F slur is named Ben. Okay, good. Ben Awareness. That better not be not gay, Ben. That better. Don't let Ben if that's you. Ben. Don't let us catch you. Ben, you definitely don't get to use the F slur. Okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the tweet. And now we return to the original context of the video we were looking at. Yes. That's yeah. why. Oh, I have it sped up. Stop. Oh, oh yeah. Stop. Getting in trouble for liking edgy tweets by gay people now? I can't. Yeah, no, I mean, but talk about. I, I do, I do understand it. Okay, I get it. Okay, here we go. Kind of. I mean, it's tough because I want to be understanding for homeless people, but it's rough. Part fucking. There was the fucker twice that it was an. That's not us. That's but in the no, video. I, uh, that's Vosh doing this. Yeah, Vosh is scanning through. The I liked video it originally. He says no one canceled you. Everyone just called you a smarmy, annoying cigarette. And I didn't. I didn't see this. Like I didn't understand. I just thought everyone just called you smarmy and annoying is what I thought he said. So then I unliked it. Honestly. Okay. Do we buy that? That Hassan unliked it. No, that he didn't see the cigarette emoji. I mean, I I don't see why he would. Why he, if he understood there was an F slur in there, I don't think he would have liked the tweet. Hmm. Hassan seems bright enough to know that. I can't, when we were looking for Hassan is dumb uh, mm -hmm. lines for the song, mm -hmm. Hassan started talking about the book Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. Very, like he understood it. <laughs> it, was <a> little, <laughs> it was a little disheartening for me. I was, Look at Adam thinking Hassan is not a moron. I completely disagree I know, with you. I know. He's a big was, moron. You're so wrong. I know. I You're was so like, this wrong. is so weird. He's this so is stupid. so weird. He's bafflingly stupid. It was so... It it was not a comfortable... I mean, I fast-forwarded as quick as I could to get past that part. <laughs> Obviously, this is that like was when, not no, the no, material no. we were looking for. This is like when Denim's brought up thinking fast and thinking slow, and you were like, wait, what? <laughs> I know. I know. But it seemed you can... like he had read the book. <laughs> mm, yeah, but so, so what? Does it mean he's like, mm -hmm. you can, people can read mm -hmm. and regurgitate information. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make them smart. <laughs> yeah, okay. you're right. Totally. And, uh, uh, but no, like regarding this, for, well, first of all, Hassan, Hassan is a big advocate of using slurs. Okay. Mm -hmm. He, you know, kept calling mm. Destiny Gusano. The sea slur. Yeah, he's all uh, over it. He, he had that weird rant where he went off on Adam something and I think called them like a Euro trash Hungarian oh, really? or something. Yeah. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he has the same. Oh, and he had the whole cracker debacle, obviously. Yeah, we covered that. Right. So I wouldn't be surprised if Hassan has the same thought process as Vosh does. Mm -hmm. um, but... You, you know, probably he didn't notice the cigarette emoji in the tweet. So, yeah, that's fine, I guess. That's probably true. You don't want to... I mean, we can... I mean, we can pretend like we believe that he did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, if, if you really... I mean, generally, I'm, I'm more in favor of being honest. But, I mean, if you think it would be good for the show... There you go. We'll just pretend. We'll pretend like... Um, oh, Hassan, you liar. You piece of shit. <laughs> You knew what it said, but don't try to get out of it, Hassan. And nobody believes that you read Malcolm Gladwell. Okay, stop talking about that on your stream. I feel like I feel like you really have to reach to say that what he's saying here isn't believable. That's like the norm. That's the most normal explanation in the world. Oh, now I totally don't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> 
the cigarette is like a tiny little emoji. You know, you you flash see a tweet on your phone, smarmy and annoying. Oh, and he is smarmy and annoying. Like I thought that was a dick emoji. I thought he was saying he was a smarmy and annoying dick. <laughs> like it, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Could he be lying? Sure. Like, I can't. we can't really prove it either way, but that's like a pretty reasonable explanation. Yeah. Um... <clears throat> Even, so let's let's say that he did know what the content of the tweet was and liked it and then later unliked it because he decided he didn't want to deal with the drama, you know. Um, I got to. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <clears throat> I feel like I feel like uh, Chris Rock. Is it Chris Rock mm -hmm. who did this? Is it another mm -hmm. stand up comedian I'm thinking of? Who was the guy who used to have the bit where he would say the difference between the N-words and the N-words, but he stopped it mm -hmm. because white people were laughing along with Hey, look, Xanderhal's in the chat. In Vasha's chat. Oh, really? Holy cow. <laughs> was was calling didn't him we call a, him an orbiter? A Vosh orbiter, yes. He's yeah. talking about Dave Chappelle, too. I don't... I mean... I'm curious if he can't remember him because he's banished him from his mind because of the mm. whole transphobia thing. But I think they, I think they had, I think both Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle had similar material on this subject. Oh, really? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. With it, and they, he didn't really know that was Chris Rock. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> that was Chris Rock. Okay, that's how I feel right now. Okay, mm -hmm. as a. Uh, as a as a as a guy, I feel like um, I feel like I'm staring at an audience of heterosexuals. By the way, like half of you are gay. But let's assume you're not. You know, just for safety's sake, um, <clears throat> gays are dangerous. And um, mm -hmm. and, and 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 you know, it's it's like I'm a writer for the Boondocks. You know, because if I make homophobic jokes at the expense of white gay men, I feel like I can, for the same reason that I'm okay with the boondocks writers making jokes about black culture. You know what I mean? Okay, this is so bullshit. Mm -hmm. This is completely different. There's a difference between if someone's part of a community mm -hmm. or a culture and they sort of mock elements of that culture or that community, mm -hmm. okay? Like the boondocks does. Mm -hmm. That's very different than saying that you get to call someone a slur Mm -hmm. Because you don't like them and they happen to be part of a community. That's a completely fucking different thing. These have mm -hmm. nothing to do with each other whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Good point. So like, like, for example, like there could be some aspect of, you know, Jewish culture or something that I would, you know, make fun of, you know, oh, you know, with the overbearing Jewish mother is kind mm -hmm. of like a stereotype. Right? I don't think you've ever made fun of that once on the show. And we've done like almost 200 shows. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, well, first of all, the overbearing mother is kind of like any ethnic culture that's not wasp has that, you know, mm -hmm. Asians have that, Italians have that, Jews have that, you know, lots oh, of people yeah, have you're this, right. you know, yeah. yeah. But so like in, in Judaism, you have the same thing, you know, like, oh, you've got to go to school, you got to be a lawyer, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, don't you want to, you know, the neighbor's kid came back from school and now a doctor and they married that nice girl down the street. What are you going to do? You know, like. You know, this this whole stereotype and you can and i can make fun of that and i do you know i don't make fun of that but i do make fun of the concept of like you know jews control the world and jews think you know all that nonsense sure we do all the time right and that's fine but i wouldn't like i don't know look at some jewish guy i don't like mm -hmm. and be like Ooh. oh this guy's such a fucking kike <clears throat> You'd be like, whoa, Sitch, what? Yeah, and you're and yeah. I'm like, no, 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 it's okay for me to call him a kike yeah. because I'm Jewish. You're like, what do you what do you mean? And then and then if my and then if my rationale was, well, you know, he just embodies all the negative stereotypes of like Judaism. I don't know. That just is such a fucking fucked up argument to make. That's a because then, several orders of magnitude worse than Shibibo, yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> and <laughs> also, if I did that. And which would this is Vosh's argument, by the way, for why he can use the F slur. If I did that, I am reinforcing the negative stereotype of yourself, yes, of my own group, which yeah. is what Vosh is doing. If he's if he says this guy embodies negative stereotypes of gay people, so I get to call him the F slur, you're just reinforcing those negative stereotypes. 
which is bad. Holy yes. bad. Yeah. This is such a horrible argument. Uh, <laughs> I, I wonder feel like if, uh, I wonder if Vosh calls Ben Shapiro the case lawyer in private. I bet he does. <laughs> well, he's not <laughs> Jewish, so he can't. Yeah, but I, I don't think he cares. I think he's like, <laughs> mm. it's mm. acceptable for him. Right. Probably. Probably. I feel like there are <clears throat> legitimate in-group grievances that it's okay to express. And at the same time, I don't want you guys feeling like it's okay to just call every gay person you disagree with the F slur or whatever. Or even if a gay guy is being annoying or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't think you should get that pass. I don't know like what people are going to laugh at. But I have that pass. With regards to that particular kind of... The streamer pass. Know. Listen, just... Just take. <laughs> He's trying so hard to, to to justify this horrible argument. When this did, horrible why? argument? He can't do it. Where is the clip of him using the F slur that's got him in trouble? I feel like I this don't is know. So much of this just seems like backpedaling to me. I don't know. Like there's I some seen it. like I there's some it. Joe Rogan style clip floating around of Bosch using the F slur twenty five times. Maybe he. Maybe there's some Discord statement or something. Maybe he said, oh, you know, I got gotcha. you. Said in Discord, and he's worried it's gonna get leaked or something. I don't know. He's walking it back. Maybe, maybe. Take this away, if nothing else, okay? Uh, it's like calling a black guy you disagree with the N word. Like, come on, dude. See, I think that's. Too <laughs> yeah, that's super fucked up. The chat yes. is fully telling him what's what. Too simplistic yes. of a reading. What? <laughs> for, the, for the main reason being that, like, a lot of gay people just say faggot all the time with their friends in, like, <clears throat> a ubiquitous context. You know? That's literally the same! What are you talking about? That's literally the fucking same! There's lots of black people who use the N-word in a ubiquitous context. What yeah. are you fucking talking about? Yeah. It doesn't change the <laughs> argument for not being able to call someone you hate the N-word in, in malice. Like what the what? You know what I mean? Like I don't. I have and have had friend groups. Yes. Where you can say faggot. Yes. Just without abandon, and there are trans groups where they say the T slur all the time. You know, but then when that gets seen publicly, it's like, okay, well, what do you really mean? What are you act? See, I think there's a clip like getting ready to drop or something. You're this probably seems right. like a. You're probably right. Yeah. This seems like a setup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he even mentions it he's like you know we talk about this stuff at, you know without a you know all the time privately and then someone records it in discord and totally sets you up actually right, saying, he's hedging his that bets, thought baby. action divide just what's that straight be i said maybe he's hedging his bets because if he says it so fucking much it's mm -hmm. gonna be a clip of it somewhere he's like in case it comes out maybe i don't know he'd be closer to you know the um the safe side with this stuff, I'd say. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I want to talk about it more, but I might. <laughs> That's my clip is just so insane. Oh look! Oh look! It's that cool, <sighs> dumb Hassan song. Let's listen to that. No, there you go. I'm just kidding. But I uh, no, like that. I just love it. Someone is like. What do you mean, Vosh? That's like calling someone who's black you disagree with the end word. He's like, no, 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 it's completely different because, and then he, what he explains is literally exactly the same as calling someone black the word. Oh my god, Vosh's and I think views he, are insane. I mean, Vosh's video views, but go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I think I think he realized mid sentence that what he was saying was like really fucking stupid, and that's why he just kind of trailed off. He's like, I give me okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> Chat, chat was obviously against him. Ugh, I know. They, That's crazy. This is the thing about moral communities. Mor uh, morality is designed to make nuanced conversations black and white. And I just yeah. feel like Chad is probably there. I wasn't reading closely, but I'm sure Chad is just going, what? <laughs> the, ru the rule is this, Vosh. This is the rule. And you're totally breaking it. No, it's different rules for everyone. Okay. Right. No, that's not uh, really how it works. 
The most dope says Vosh called Christian Walker the F slur when he was on Hassan's show. Oh, really? Oh, really? There you go. There you go. Yeah, Hassan got in big trouble for having Christian Walker on. We covered that. Yeah, we did. You don't, I mean, Christian Walker is obviously black and gay. Oh, but wait a minute. He's, yeah, but he's black, so he's not allowed to call him the F slur. What happened there? Yeah. I sent you the, it's like a 48 second clip. I don't know if you want to watch it. This is the clip of the guy that started all the drama that they're calling the F slur. Do I have to watch it on? On Twitter. Okay. Just so we can see, we can see if, if we're, let's see if we can control ourselves, guys. Can we control ourselves and not just start barking the F slur? uh, (laughs) I'm going to try with wild abandon. It depends upon how the audio is in this clip, because if he's, if he's banging his microphone, Adam (laughs) might start calling it. If it's bad, if it's bad audio, I'm not making any promises. Okay. Right. Right. So listen, we'll see. We'll see if we. If we can control our elephants, okay, or, or not, if we're just going to go crazy on this. But let me know when you have it up. Almost there. We just have to three, two, one. Yeah, pausing it. Hit it. Backing it up. Got to bring mm-hmm. this back up. Wait a second. Where's that watch? Okay, here it is. And it says, I'm the gay, dim, talking down, Lauren... I don't know who Boobert is. Lauren Boobert. Mm-hmm. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Yesterday, I got canceled for making the outrageous claim that ultra progressive candidates can't win in blood red districts like mine, and that if you vote for one, you're throwing your vote away. Uh, yeah. Every vote matters, but don't throw yours away on some ultra liberal pipe dream who has no shot just to make yourself feel warm and fuzzy at night. In order to legislate, Democrats must win. And in order to win, we need to nominate candidates who represent the district and play smart with common sense policies that can win. Not some platform designed to placate your overwoke Twitter temper tantrum pipe dreams. And we need someone strong enough. To- Sitch, I had to pause because I think I love this guy. <laughs> I know. I know. I couldn't help myself. I know. This is. I've never heard this video. I'm like, what? This guy is like fucking why? so right. Why this am guy's I based? What's why am I about? calling this guy? Why would I want to call this guy? The episode? This guy is. This, this is, is crazy. Am, this is amazing. All right, well, let, this, us, this, let us continue. Yeah, let's finish it. To stand up to the bullshit including Lauren Boebert's bullshit, but also including the bullshit in our own party trying to tear down Democrats with a shot. TLDR, I'm not sorry, and I've got my eye on the only prize that matters, winning for all of us. Yesterday- Okay, <laughs> all right. I thought, you I'm know- glad we Mr. watched the clip. I know, like you would think Mr. Um, utilitarian pragmatist consequentialist Vosh would be in favor of that. Hey, Alex Walker, why don't you come on our show? This, and it's funny, too, because I'm glad we watched that clip because this guy, he's a Democrat running against Lauren Boebert. <laughs> I assumed going into this that he was some right wing guy that Vosh and Hassan and whoever didn't like. Right. That's why they were calling him the he's an anti woke liberal. He's an anti woke Democrat. It was like, we got to be pragmatic here to win election. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. He's not even like. Hilarious. He's not even like super effeminate. He's not overtly <laughs> gay either. Yeah. No. I mean, oh I've had straight. God. I've had straight friends that are more gay than this. <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah. insane. Uh that's funny. insane. These people have lost their fucking minds. I thought Vosh's brand was anti woke. I think Vosh is. People talk no. like Vosh is anti woke liberal anti-woke socialist was i think his brand but no see vosh says this weird what, what vosh is is he he's not anti-woke he just wants to be able to wield wokeness in a, as a cudgel only when it suits him mm-hmm. and he wants to try to convince people that it's okay for him to do it in a specific fashion to not have some kind of universal principles that everyone has to you know apply to equally or follow equally yeah Oh, it's okay for him to be a total piece of shit and, and can be completely anti-woke to, you know, the bad people's, the bad men's. Terrible. Oh, you know, I, I can't believe they're calling this guy the F-slur. 
I wonder, I want to see Hassan's reaction to this tweet. <laughs> oh my God. Just because he's like, oh, your woke shit is not going to win elections. Oh, what an Epsler. <laughs> this, it, it shows to me how hypocritical these fucking people are. These people don't believe in the the principles. They don't have principles. They don't believe in anything. They just want to be able to bully and to attack people in the most horrendous, disgusting ways possible, but justify it under their political philosophy. I totally That's agree. That's what's yeah. happening here. Where's the Chud quote? We need that. I need. Where's to put the that the Chud. Huxley quote? I yeah. Know. Wait, let I mean, me bring that was it up. A great quote. Chud Logic did this quote on on EFAP about how. You know, enticing people with being able to be mean and nasty to people is unfortunately a very good enticement. Yeah, exactly. Um, Which the I surest. Got, just, oh, go ahead. I found it. The surest way to work up a crusade in favor of some good cause is to promise people they will have a chance of maltreating someone mm. to be able to destroy with good conscience, to be able to behave badly and call your bad behavior righteous indignation. This is the height of psychological luxury, the most delicious of moral treats. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah. That's Fosh in a nutshell. Yeah. It is fun to mistreat people, but I don't get to do it often enough. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. That video is crazy. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.